breaking news about psychiatrist who claimed Trump mentally ill. She was just busted, big time. The fake news media has been parading around a doctor that claims the president is mentally unfit for office, but she was just busted in a massive lie. According to Dr. Bandy Lee, the president suffers from mental instability and isn't fit for office, causing many to claim the 25th Amendment, which allows the president to be removed due to health concerns, needs to be enacted. The hysteria over her book, The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump, has been plastered all over liberal media in an attempt to discredit the president. In fact, it's been so bad that an internet search turned out the following. The sad part is that was merely a fraction of the negative stories against Trump. In a story by the NY Mag, Lee justifies her flagrant disregard for the Goldwater Rule, an honorary code that doctors promise not to diagnose political leaders without personally examining them, through free-mongering and other scare tactics. This moment, which itself is unprecedented, led to an open town hall meeting on Thursday, at Yale Medical School, to discuss the elephant in the room. Dr. Bendy X. Lee, a diminutive Yale psychiatry professor who organized the meeting, puts it this way, the Goldwater rule is not absolute. We have a duty to warn, about a leader who is dangerous to the health and security of our patients. She has formed a coalition by that name, and it now comprises almost 800 mental health professionals who are sufficiently alarmed that they feel the need to speak up about the mental health status of the president. Gardner has posted a similar petition on the web, and it has attracted 41,000 signatures, a high proportion of them from mental health practitioners. Anyone can look it up and sign it. Lovely, eh? Well here's the thing. This doctor that the leftist media has fallen head over heels in love with, isn't really a doctor at all. In fact, it's not being reported that she's not even licensed to practice medicine or write her prescriptions, your news wire reported. Mainstream media reacted with glee last week when a psychiatrist went public with claims President Trump is suffering from mentally instability, and worse. However these same media outlets now have egg on their face because the psychiatrist they were so keen to promote as an authority on the president's health has just been exposed as a total fraud. That's right, Dr. Bandy Lee, who also briefs congressional Democrats about the president's mental health, does not even hold a current license to practice psychiatry. Dr. Bandy Lee managed to connive her way onto CNN and NPR, among many others, last week, openly criticizing the president and attempting to sell her book. The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump, released in October last year. These mainstream outlets slapped up everything Dr. Bandy Lee said about the president, without stopping to check her credentials. Now they have a serious amount of egg on their face. Will they apologize for promoting the work of a charlatan who is not even licensed to practice psychiatry? It just shows how desperate they are for any kind of dirt on Trump. They will dedicate serious airtime to a charlatan who has no license to practice. Indeed. Isn't it the job of journalists to properly vet these people before putting them in front of millions of people? People?